Few people today will see a farmer ploughing his field using a hand plough and a horse. Today we are going to paint one in watercolour. It is always best to preserve all white and light areas with masking fluid. Use a small round brush here for this and periodically clean the brush with water to stop it from gelling in the hairs. Lightly paint in the sky with a mix of blue and a touch of red to tone down the bright blue and let it dry. Use a darker mix in the mountains making it a bit lighter towards the horizon. Paint the far field with some yellow ochre. The closer field is painted in green and if too dark lift out with a tissue. With some light burnt sienna add the field in between these other two. Add some yellow to the mountain mix to make a dark grey-green for the trees. See how this lifts out the distant houses. Add darker shadows right on the horizon line. Make the mix a bit darker still and add the closer trees as well as the small row of bushes or hedge on the edge of the ploughed field. Cover the whole field with some light burnt sienna while letting it get darker towards the foreground. This adds distance perspective to the scene and it also warms up the foreground and cooler as it recedes into the distance. See how the masking fluid has preserved the farmer and the horse. Paint the underpainting of the trees with a yellow ochre and a touch of blue. And with a darker mix begin adding in the darker leaf clumps and the shadow areas. While the paper is still damp, but not too wet, drop in some very dark mix into the deep shadows. Then paint the shadows on the ground and tidy up some of the background. Paint in the furrow lines, making them broader and darker towards the foreground. Be careful in not losing the linear perspective. With very light mountain color on the brush and using it almost side on, that's flat, lightly pull the brush over the surface top. This ensures nice random markings on the soil and make it get lighter in the distance. Use a sponge to create the very loose soil effect, especially on the heaped soil lines. The green plants separate the one field from the other. Remove the masking fluid with some masking tape and then add some green patches on the dark cloud lines for upturned vegetation. With some orange color add the horse collar and the farmer's face, hat and arms. Mix a dark grey and paint the pants and the braces. And lift out any highlights. And paint all the dark lines on the horse and the plough. With a light blue-grey, paint in the shirt shadow and only a few uh, shadows on the light-coloured horse. Add just enough to show the rounding of its body. Less is always more, as they say. Make sure that the farmer's feet, the plough and the horse, they must be in the same furrow. Please like this lesson if you enjoyed it and we would love you to subscribe to our videos and also to leave a comment below.